Australia is open once again for skilled visas. Western Australia has recently conducted its latest visa invitation round, offering crucial insights into the state's immigration priorities. This blog breaks down the essential details of the invitation round, highlighting the occupations targeted and the point thresholds required for various visa streams. Topics discussed Overview of Western Australia's Visa Invitation Round Priority occupations in Schedule 1 and Schedule 2 Points requirements for popular occupations Specific criteria for graduate stream applicants Stay informed with the latest immigration news. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon, and share our videos on Facebook, WhatsApp, and X with your loved ones. Overview of Western Australia's Visa Invitation Round Western Australia has once again held its monthly visa invitation round, focusing on various streams such as Schedule 1, Schedule 2, and the Graduate Stream. The state has remained consistent with its promise to regularly issue invitations, and this round provided valuable insights into which occupations and applicants were prioritised. Priority Occupations in Schedule 1 and Schedule 2 In the Schedule 1 stream, which requires a minimum of one year of work experience, Western Australia prioritised applicants already residing in the state. This was followed by those offshore or living in other Australian states. Key occupations included cardiac technicians, dentists, and hospital pharmacists, with point thresholds ranging from 85 to 90. Additionally, the Schedule 2 stream, which generally does not require work experience, saw significant invitations extended to professions in the building and construction sectors, including civil engineers and carpenters. Points requirements for popular occupations Notably, high-demand occupations such as civil engineering technicians and early childhood teachers saw point requirements as high as 100. This trend indicates a competitive landscape for visa applicants in Western Australia, especially for those in health, hospitality, and construction fields. Specific criteria for graduate stream applicants Graduate stream applicants, especially those who studied in Western Australia, were also given significant consideration. To qualify, graduates must have completed at least two years of study within the state, and in many cases, they must meet specific work experience requirements post-graduation. Western Australia's latest invitation round underscores the state's strategic approach to immigration, focusing on critical industries and ensuring that the most qualified candidates are selected. Our video update for today ends here. If you found it useful then do support us by subscribing to our channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates like this. Thanks for watching today's video update.